DCI's first championship in 72 was a gamble. Hey, we'd never done this before. Well, the season was also an iffy affair for DCI's first champion. It was the most improbable of seasons. Coming off a solid 1971, the Anaheim Kingsmen had a strong spring going into 72. Then the wheels fell off, says core historian Keith Wilbur. And uh, then one Wednesday night, um, I came to practice, I remember it was out at the Naval Air Station, and uh, found out that um, there had been an internal squabble and that Don Porter Sr. and um, several members of his executive staff resigned. Don Porter Sr. was the core director who had helped build the Kingsmen into a national contender. Gone with Porter were some major sponsors, practice sites, and a general sense of stability. The Corps went dark for a couple of weeks until some parents picked up the reins. Uh, we went ahead at that point in time and, and kind of filtered back in along with the majority of um, the kids. I, I think we probably in the end may have lost about 5% of the members. But the Kingsmen had to play some serious catch up. We um, adopted something at that point in time that um, has become a Kingsman staple. And that was what we called 10 to 10s. And uh, we would practice, uh, get up in the morning, everybody would eat breakfast, whatever you need to do, uh, on the field at 10 in the morning, and we would practice all the way through. We'd take a break here and there for water or take a break for, you know, grab something for lunch or for dinner, and uh, practice all the way through till 10 o'clock at night. They competed in the early California shows with an unfinished drill. The end of July brought an East Coast tour that started with a deadhead run to Boston. And so we, we showed up at CYO. The last of the members learned the exit drill uh, the day before CYO. And we really didn't have an opportunity to, to clean the drill. It was just kind of getting it learned, getting everybody to know it, and being able to go out and uh, do a show. And they topped a very good 27th Lancer Corps to take the title. The Kingsmen continued to clean as they toured the East doing their 10 to 10s, and they won the U.S. Open in Marion, Ohio. Now it's on to Whitewater, Wisconsin, and the first DCI championship. They finished third in the prelims behind Santa Clara and the Blue Stars. Come the finals, the core felt like it found its groove. You know, I, I look back on this 50 years ago, and it's amazing that I can remember as much as I did about it. Um, I knew by the end of the opener that we weren't going to fall apart and that this was going to be a true show. We did the concert number, which I always thought was the number that really brought the core um, forward, and it kind of was the one that really engaged the audience. And um, I just recall that as we were going through the final one quarter of that song, you could just see people standing up just in the audience. It was, it was kind of amazing, you know? They, by the time that we played the last note, everybody was on their feet. The entire crowd was on their feet. The Kingsmen went out for a retreat with high hopes, but then... They started reading off the scores, and when they got to about uh, ninth place, the wind started to blow, and the, uh, <laughs> and the <laughs> rain started to come down. And, you know, typically we would stay there when it rained. We wouldn't leave, but um, there was lightning, there was thunder, and the rain was really coming down. And so uh, drum major said, run for the buses. And that's where they were when the last scores were announced. On the buses. In first place with the score of 88.10, the Kingsman from Anaheim, California. The last score that I heard was fourth place um, from the loudspeaker system. And from, when, from third place on, I was too far away and, and everybody else was as well. 
And so that's, that's kind of how we found out was um, just people coming by, hey, congratulations. The Blue Stars finished second, so the top two cores played books by arranger Mike Duffy, something that hasn't happened since that first championship. 1972 put the Anaheim Kingsmen on the Founders Trophy and earned them a hallowed spot in drum corps history. <laughs> 